evening, fellow Toastmasters. A few weeks ago, I had to take a cab from work over to the tire store. I ran over a screw, so I had to buy a very expensive, specially ordered new tire. Now, there are usually a bunch of cabs outside the hospital where I work. And on this day, there were three. Two of them were just your nondescript cabs. The third one looked more like a town car. It was pristine. And the driver was wearing a button-down shirt and a tie. He was standing outside the cab in the heat. He waved me over. He said, ma'am, would you like a ride? And usually, I hate being called ma'am. It makes me feel old. But I thought, wow, this is great service. I got in, and he handed me a bottle of water from a cooler. I got in, and it smelled nice. It was clean. And he said, what kind of music would you like to listen to? Now, I was looking around for the hidden camera, thinking, what in the world in a cab is this? So I told him, I said, this is the best cab experience I think I've ever had. So we got talking. He was actually a really interesting guy. He said he used to work in corporate America. He had a job that was just sort of OK. He's like, I busted my butt for that place, and it just wasn't rewarding. It was one of those jobs where you just work and work, and it really wasn't going anywhere. So one day, he had this epiphany. He said, I just want to do what I want to do. I like driving. I like talking to people. And I like making people laugh. So naturally, I became a cab driver. Wow, you're pretty funny. Well, I don't have to tell you, but he got a very good tip. Not only did I give him a tip, but he gave me three tips. And those are, follow your passion, always give 100%, and good customer service pays. After this cab experience, I spent a lot of time thinking about it, wondering how many people are really living their passions? How many people can say, I am doing what I was called to do? I feel like I am fully using my talents to the best ability. And like any kind of healthy relationship, this brings out the best in me, and I bring out the best in this job. Now, I think a lot of people are okay with their jobs. Maybe have moments that they like here at home. But if I would have to guess, I would say maybe under 10% of people truly love what they do and would describe it as their passion. So why is this? Now, think about my experience. When I was in high school, I had guidance counselors. And they helped me pick out which classes I should take to get into college. Got to college and I had another guidance counselor help me pick out some classes and help me pick a major. But I don't remember anybody ever asking me, what is your passion? What just makes you tick? What do you really want to do in life? And I think so many times we feel like it's an either or situation. Either you do something that's a stable career, you'll always have a job, or you have the luxury of doing something Think about the juxtaposition of both of these. Why can't you have both? Why can't you do something that you love and still be able to pay the rent? I think it's, it's really something to think about. Maybe a different way of changing how we do career counseling. Even in this tough context, I think we need to be teaching kids that you can follow your passion. Another thing I learned from this cab driver is always give 100%. And when you think about it, we hear so many times these buzz phrases like, you know, always go the extra mile, and think outside the box. Think about it this way. The cab driver said he liked driving. He said he liked talking to people. Does he really love detailing the car? Does he love stocking the fridge with a bottle of water? Probably not. But he did it. And he did it up. He did a great job. And I have to think that that helped him feel more bored in his job. Because you have a choice. We all have opportunities. You know, even, even if you really are working within your passion, there are bound to be parts of your job that you don't really love. I definitely have some administrative type things that I have to do, paperwork, I don't love. So again, you're faced with a choice. You can complain about them, you could not do them. Or you can do them up and embrace them and say, you know what? I'm going to do the best I can. And 
my first job ever was working at Arby's. Just a little tip, anybody know what Arby's stands for? America's Roast Beef, yes sir. I have to tell you, like working at Arby's in high school was not my passion. Not a great job. I had fun with some of the other high school kids there. But imagine I was sweeping bathrooms, I was picking up the parking lot, not a lot of fun. So you can go back, you can complain, you can complain, or you can have fun with it. We used to have competitions as to who can clean the bathroom the bathrooms. And this is dating myself, but we used to have to count the change in our heads. We didn't have an amount of tender money. And their rule was that if your drawer came up short, you had to pay the difference. And that's a lot when you're making four twenty-five an hour. It's painful when you make an error. So we used to get very competitive about who would get the most accurate change and the drawer come up. And I still think about that. That was you know, just a way of having fun in your job. It made it more rewarding. Let me think about doing something that's your passion. Sure, that's important. It's emotionally satisfying. Giving 100%, very gratifying. But well, let's talk about the nuts and bolts. You know, good customer service pays. It pays financially. Like I say, this cab driver got a good tip. All those little things that he did, the extras, the cleaning the cab, the having the water, it pays. This is a cab ride that I had about four weeks ago, and I'm still talking about it. I've talked to a lot of my friends about it. I still have his number. I don't really take cabs all that often, but I can promise you that when I need a cab, I'll be calling them. It's just good business sense. Good customer service pays. So for my $12 cab ride, I, had, I can tell you I got invaluable tips from it. That we all need to remember, follow your passion, always give 100%, and definitely good customer service.